Hi everyone, I hope everyone is having a wonderful new year so far and um, I hope you had a nice holiday, you enjoyed the holidays with your family and friends and stuff like that. So my first video I wanted to share with everyone because a lot of people have been asking me about the product I use, uh, what do you do to make your hair grow long and everything like that. Um, there's no product that makes your hair grow long but there are products that that will help um, your hair to be healthy and prevent prevent breakage and stuff like that um, there's nothing really special that I do one thing that I've learned since I've become natural is that she is just to have a simple hair care regimen and just stick by that regimen and um, before I used to do different things to my hair which is good it's good to experiment to find out what your hair likes but now that I've learned a lot about my hair especially during the winter I just keep it very very simple so this is my winter hair care regimen and staple product just for the winter and I think with the and uh, the season as the season changes um, because of the way our hair is um, because during the winter my hair tends to get a little uh, uh, a little bit dry and stuff like that so my regimen changes and during the summer spring it will be different so I'm going to start by shampoo and um, this is what I do weekly I shampoo my hair with my uh, Talia Wajid um, Total Body Black Heart Shampoo which has been my favorite product for a very very long time i really love this it doesn't strip out my hair of all the oils and nutrients it leaves my hair quite soft actually my hair doesn't stay really dry and it, it, it takes out all the dirt from my hair i'm actually running low on this um but i really love this shampoo and um on the day that i don't want to use the um, the Talia Wajid, I used the sh my shampoo bar soap. Um, I got this from Shea Butter Cottage, and I will put the name of the shampoo bar in the description box because I don't have the box anymore, so I don't know what the name is. Um, I think it's called Afro Shampoo or something like that. I'll find the name of this shampoo bar. And um, yeah, this is really good as well. Cleans your hair and doesn't strip your hair. Um, yeah, that's what I use uh, ev um, to wash my hair. And then to condition my hair, the way I do it, after washing my hair, I go after and I condition my hair. And that's when I detangle my hair. I usually detangle my hair after washing it. And I apply um, this conditioner to make it soft and easy to detangle. I really love this conditioner, it's my favorite, I, it doesn't even change throughout the season, I use it all the time and it's silicon free and supposed to be natural, I don't know if it's all natural but it's really really good, it makes my, it leaves my hair really soft, it has a lot of slip to it so it's really easy to detangle while using this conditioner. Once I rinse that off what I do, I deep condition my hair. With the deep conditioner, I listen to what my hair wants. If my hair needs more moisture, I use a moisturizing conditioner. If my hair needs um, to be strong, I use a protein conditioner. And the protein conditioner that I use and I've always used is the olive oil replenishing conditioner. I love this because it helps to um, and it's good for damaged hair. When I see that my hair start breaking, and usually my hair starts to break here in the middle, um, I start using this conditioner, and um, and I leave it in my hair for about 20-15 minutes under the heated cap, and it's really really good. I've been using it for a very long time. I've been using it since I became natural, so that's been my staple for a very very long time. Um, as for my moisturizing conditioner, I do not have a favorite, even for the winter I don't. I have a couple of moisturizing conditioner that I use um, in my stack, there's, there's so many of them and they're really good and um, sometimes if I don't want to use 
those ones that say um moisturizing conditioner i just take this conditioner and mix it with a couple of oils and then just leave it on my hair on 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 damp hair and then um keep it in for about 10 to 15 minutes on the heated cap and that does the job that really does the job so you don't really need to um buy a conditioner that says deep moisturizing conditioner you can make your own at home so that's why I, I do sometimes so once i deep condition my hair and i rinse it off i then moisturize my hair and the way i always moisturize my hair especially during the winter i've been doing it a lot it's i do i do the kimi tube um recipe a lot of people on youtube that natural know about this recipe if you don't know about the recipe i will put the link to her video on how she does it there's no need of me showing you on on the video but i will put a link i'll put a recipe below uh, and i'll put a link on how she does it it's very simple and uh, for the conditioner for that recipe i use um this conditioner by Coles, I've been loving it, really, really loving it a lot. And it's been really good for my hair. It's the Coconut Sublime Conditioner from Coles. In the recipe, you have to use either aloe vera gel or aloe vera juice. I use this aloe vera gel. Sometimes I use aloe vera juice. Um, but since I have the aloe vera gel in my... Um, my stash, I use the aloe vera gel, and this is from Holland and Barrett. You can use any aloe vera gel that you got, and um, this is just what I have, and that's what I use. And then the oils that I use, I use the sweet almond oil or the jojoba oil. I also use the Jamaican black castor oil. This is one of my favorite oil. I use it on my edges as well. And it just helps to, if you've got uh, edges that are really thin or your edges have been, um, you know, your hair has been breaking on your edges because of, you know, when you do all these tight styles, this is really good. This will make your your hair grow, your edges grow and keep your hair edges in, in good shape. So that's what I use is the Jamaican black castor oil. Um, so that's what I use for my moisturizer. I will moisturize my hair and, um, and that's what I will do. And once I moisturize my hair, I do not seal it with any oils because remember in the recipe, we've already applied so much oil to it. There is no need for me to add oil on top of it. The, really isn't any need for me to do that so the oils I've already put in the moisturizer is good enough for me I don't need to apply any more oil to my hair that does all the job for me so I do that and then if I'm going to style my hair in a twist style or braid out or anything like that I would use the curls heavy when you apply this product to your hair whether it's a dry twist out or a wet twist out it doesn't leave any residue any white residue that a lot of product that i've used does it just keeps your hair really nice really soft and it does define my twist the twist out i've got right now is an eight day twist out and i haven't had any residue to it my hair still looks shiny still looks nice this is my last day of the twist out because i'm going to wash my hair after uh, today or tomorrow um, my hair looks really really healthy um, and really nice and the style are still intact and I haven't really reapplied this um, product after applying it for the first time all I've done is just use my Kimi tube moisturizer and then we twisted my hair really good product and I wasn't expecting this product to be this good but I am pleasantly surprised and I really really love it and I will recommend this product and uh, this is my winter hair care regimen it's really simple just the way i like it because when you're a busy person and you don't have time to, you don't have time to start looking for different types of products or whatever it's just good to have a simple hair care regimen and if you're asking me if i do uh a pre-pull 
uh, I haven't done it for the for autumn and winter. I haven't done any people. What I do, I take a bottle, a spray bottle with water inside, and add my Tresemme Naturals conditioner, and then I section my hair, and then in one section I spray the the conditioner and I start detangling my hair. I either do it with my fingers or I use a, a detangling brush to detangle my hair before I go on to washing my hair. It makes it so easy to wash my hair and it makes the detangling process that I do after washing really simple and easy for me. So that's what I do. I don't do a pre pour That's what I, I, that's how I prep my hair before washing it. I am one year and seven months natural and i'm loving my hair i'm actually loving my hair more than i did and i'm happy i was so patient and that's what I, one thing i would like to say about newly naturals is that there will come a point in your natural hair after your big chop there will come a point i don't know it happened to me but if it does happen to you you if you come to a point where um, you really are frustrated with your hair and you don't see your hair growing you don't see how you can go out with your hair with different styles just be patient trust me be patient and you will see the results you just need to be patient and you see how your hair will grow and just keep a healthy hair care regimen to your hair and you don't have to follow the exact step that I do. You just need to know the basic and then just find um, what your hair likes, really. And that's it with me. That's all I wanted to share today. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm